Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Mike Amberson. I'm here to lead you through a quick tutorial on how to register a GoDaddy account or how to begin an account with GoDaddy.com. I'm dividing this tutorial up into two videos. The first video being creating an account and then the second video being registering a domain name. Now it is possible to create your account as you register your domain name but I want to make sure and give you as much information as I can on the entire process so I'm actually dividing it up kind of taking the long way around if you will but it's actually not that long at all so let's go ahead and get started uh, the first thing we're gonna do is click on create account and then we're gonna fill in our information here now I'm gonna do this via time-lapse and we'll get going from there okay so now we have filled in all of our information I've blurred out the information because it's some of it is the login information that you're going to use for the account uh, so you'll fill in your own information here and as we scroll down now for the account type it's blurred out right now but the three choices are business personal and both uh, I just picked personal uh, it really doesn't matter at this point uh, all you're doing is registering your account and you're going to be using this for personal or if you want go ahead and choose both uh, now for gender and birthday, you don't really have to put anything that's optional information. Your email, and you're going to put that in twice, and that's where they're going to be sending your account information. Now, for the stay informed area, all you want to do is just fill out this is how they're going to contact you, when, if, and how. So make sure you fill that out to your personal preference. And then we'll come down here and we're going to click on create new account. And that's all there is to it. You have now created an account with GoDaddy, and in our next video, we'll be picking up right from here. I'm going to switch accounts to the account that I usually use so that we can go through registering your domain name. Until then, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.